Hi everyone, Missy's Village here. Um, I'm going to show you the backyard, which is normally it's the barbecue area, hangout area. Never have been any chickens over here, um, just so that there won't be a mess. Um, but that kind of changed when I got Shaniqua a couple weeks ago. Let me see if I can find Shaniqua. Anyway, she's a Bantam, so she's really small. So I didn't want to put her in with the main flock because of her size. So I clipped her wings and I put her over here, which that's fine. You know, yeah, it's kind of messy over here. It's not my backyard, so I can't tell people what to do in their own backyard. <laughs> Um, anyway, so maybe we'll see Shaniqua in a minute. So then that was a couple weeks ago. Well, this last week I was moving the pullets around back there and decided that since Fuzzy over here, there's Fuzzy, a little silky, probably a male. From what I've been told so far. Um, he's so little. I thought well he could come over here and hang out with Shaniqua. So I clipped his wings and he's been hanging out here for a few days. Then we started letting Sir Spirit over here. There's Sir Spirit. Sir Spirit and Wanda and the ducks, frickin' frack, that's frick, and that's frack, which I just found out that frick is a girl, so, anyway, so I started letting them come out because their area on the side of the house is a little bit too hot for them, so, they've been coming over here, at night they still go over to the side, but during the day I let them wander over here. They're not really tearing up the yard because there's not, it's just a, a couple of them, so it's fine. Um, my little vegetable garden is over there on the side, which they haven't really messed with because there's really nothing growing except two jalapenos and one squash. So I'm not worried about that. Then this morning, I decided to bring Buffy over because Buffy is 10 months old and she is about a quarter of the size that she should be for 10 months when I got her and her sister her sister was like three times bigger than her and they were only like two days old so anyway this is where the little misfits get to hang out and call it my little misfit area I still don't know where Shaniqua is, but there's, but, oh, there's Shaniqua, there's Shaniqua, and Fuzzy, and maybe you'll be able to see her, she is very aggressive to Fuzzy, she'll chase him off, anyway, so this is where some of my quail are, two of my, my only two mature quail are right here for now. They are in one of my old rabbit cages, but as you can see, if it'll focus in, I, there it goes. I did put the hard wire cloth in the bottom, and then I've got two that are about three and a half weeks old in there. That's another pair. I was hoping they would be two girls, but they're not. Those are two that I hatched out. And then, as you saw earlier, the ducks pool got moved over here they still have one in the other area but oh look as i talk i just said they don't bother my vegetable garden come on come on wanda wanda come on spirit out of there go on spirit go on come on wanda come on wanda come on let's go come on Come on, Wanda. 
There you go. Good girl. I do have a little bit of a fence that I need to put back up. <coughs> and yeah, that tent right there has been laying there since like February. So, but like I said, not my property. So, not my backyard. I'm just glad to be able to let the ducks and some of the chickens in here. Anyway, so that's the backyard. They seem to be happy with it. But we'll see if Buffy stays over here. I know everyone likes to come over here during the day. But we'll see if Buffy here will actually stay here tonight. I don't see why she won't, but she's finally starting to come around over here a little bit more. Yes, her spirit, we know. Okay, that's the backyard and the misfit area. So, hope you enjoy it. And remember, if you want to keep up with our day-to-day -day little adventures that we have, hit the subscribe button and follow us along. Alright, everybody have a good week because this is Sunday afternoon.